mate. I just don't wait to uh, snooker now. Not cute. So it's uh, it's all good positive stuff, in it. So I hope everybody's all right. You've got a four-parter at me here. Four-parter. Sure, there's some I forgot. But other than that, I'm all right. I'm late here now. Look at time here. Twenty past five. Oh, I can make an entrance, can't I? I get there at 25 to the sale. Big pork's here. Pork is in. Put their heads down. All them who don't get on with me, they put their heads down when they see me. Probably because they all owe me a fiver or something. Good time here, man. Woo! Anybody who wants a remaps done, go and get your car remapped. Get in touch with me and I'll arrange a remap. This we're doing 52 to gallon up motorway. I got it up to 56, that's best that you can go to. Set it at 56 mile an hour. Put your cruise control on at 56 mile an hour. This is how they do it. I don't know why 56, why not 60 or 55 or 50, I don't know. Set it at 56 mile an hour, put your cruise control on. Then reset the MPG thing and just sit there and it'll settle it and send down. 52.1 it we're on. I got it down to. Whoa, what are you doing? Get in your lane. You know I am. I got it down to. Sorry, I got it up to 60. But knocking about, it's like 47. So. That is already set off. Time here, man. Do you know what? I, my memory is going, man. I think I'm falling to bits. 50 year old falling to bits. I'm 51 next year. Falling to bits. Dropping to bits. Dropping to bits, man. In it. it is what it isn't. It is what it isn't. Who's Dave Allen fighting on Eddie's show? We don't know, but Dave will knock him out. At least Dave Allen comes on and says, Look, it's a plumber or a central eating expert or a road sweeper. At least he comes on and says it as it is. But that's all he can say when he's been in with people he's been in with. I mean, he's been in with Louis Ortiz, hasn't he? The bogeyman. When it were a baby. 11th fight, in his 11th fight he's in with Luis Ortiz. I mean, come on. Eh? Well, Dennis had done that to him. No. So who's making decisions? I don't agree with that. He shouldn't have been in with him, Luis Ortiz. I ain't got a flat of that. No. Uh, anybody want to buy a Merc? 14 plate. 210 horsepower. Black. It's the black edition. Let me know. C220, 210 brick, 60 tick gallon a run, 45 to 48 knocking about. Goes off at clock at 160. I've only had it up to about 150, I think. So, in fact, yeah, it's set at 150. The, this four-parter and I hope that you'll continue to back the channel if you haven't subscribed already press the subscribe button and give me a little bit of respect because as of yesterday 41% of people who follow my channel who watch the channel 41% who watched my last video don't even subscribe but yeah they watched 63% of the video so they're not watching all the video, are they? Or some are, but some aren't, so it evens it out. But as regards 
minute retention or whatever they call it 41% of people that watched my last video don't subscribe do you know why that is do you know why that is it's people in boxing industry they want to watch it to see if I'm going to dig them out don't you <laughs> I know you're watching because I've got computers that tell me so keep watching keep skipping them ads because I still get paid even when you skip them <laughs> I don't know I still get a penny for every hundred videos you watch Jesus never gonna get rich on this are we we're never gonna get rich on it but it don't matter does it we're not out there breaking law are we we're not out there selling drugs we're not out there burgling houses, stealing cars or beating old people up. We're not breaking the law, are we? Get in your lane, mate. We're just boxing, aren't we? And people want to come and pull me. Well, them same, pe same people that want to pull me about things they might not be unhappy about on channel, will they pull everybody else who's a YouTuber? Will they? Because Coogan Cassius is not going to go on YouTube, is he, and say, well, that's a knockover fight or bloody bar. They're not going to say that because they're playing the game. And there, what's wrong with boxing? Coogan's a fantastic interviewer, and his future for me lies in something like Michael Parkinson. Because I think how he draws them onto the questions are brilliant. But he's not going to tell it as it is, is he? He's not going to rock the boat. He's not going to want to not. Do you think Frank Warren wants to have Coogan on his channel? Do you think Frank Warren, right, Frank Warren not so long ago were threatening Coogan with legal action. Dennis got threatened with legal action from James Elder because I went on uh, Bayloric TV and I said something about IFL. I said, well, they're employed, aren't they, by Frank Warren and Eddie Earn. James Elder didn't like it. So we were talking, he, he, rung, he rung Ingram up and, and Ingram rung me up and he said, well, Dennis back me with some legal action. So I rung Dennis and Dennis first thing, let me tell you something about Dennis, right? He don't like bullying. So Ingram rung up and I were obviously on the video. Go on to Bayloric TV, my first ever interview, October 2016. Google my name, Russell Hartley, and go and watch my interview, my first ever interview on internet, 2016, October. And it's got a picture of me as a thumbnail outside Sheffield Crown Court when I got when I won my appeal because I had a they were going to send me back for 31 days of my sentence because they're going to give me three months didn't they for a drink drive chart I took a chase dinner and they said I cracked a copper and I didn't now there's a picture of me on front Bayloric TV and James Elder in his wisdom James Helder threatened legal action so I said I'll ring Dennis I don't know if we can give you a lawyer but the, the point is I was talking about Dennis Hobson's stable and, and that and it were intertwined with that so they so Coogan and James showed the video to James to Eddie Earn and Eddie Earn were giving Coogan and James bullets to fire that's Coogan I, I wasn't gonna say mention that and we were going to pull him in Bulgaria, but then said, nah, it's all water under bridge. So I said, fair enough. But it's all there in black and white. So Dennis said to, to James Elder in a phone call, James, I'm back in Bayloric TV with my lawyer. So roll the dice. And what did they do? They backed down. Frank Warren threatened Coogan and James with illegal action. What did they do? They back down and took the video down, didn't they? Everybody remembers that, don't they, from 2015, where Frank didn't want no to do with him, and they said they just want to work with everybody. Coogan, you're a liar! You don't want to work with everybody! Coogan, you said you want to work with everybody! But where were you last night at Tom Hill ABC? Where were you at Mick, Mick Wales shows? Why didn't you go to uh, Dennis's last show? It was on telly. Why not? Why didn't you send your IFL uh, team? Oh, I forgot my cue! I forgot my cue now. Fucking hell! Forgot my cue. Oh, no, man. I'm going to go all the way back now. 
See what you've made me do? That's your fault, that Janie. <laughs> That's what I'd be saying. Oh. I'm going to be late now. Uh.